know how anybody is not disgraced about being black nowadays. I was hoping that the news that I heard was fake. Like just a lot of times where I'm doing these videos and there's a lot of things that I hear about I should make a video about, but I'm like, there's no way this is real. Like there's no way this is actually something that is real life. And I like to believe that even though I know people are doing the craziest stuff. You know, the world's coming to an end very soon. And seeing certain things, especially things that I think would be good for a video, there's just certain things that are just way beyond the realm of understanding. I just don't believe that these things can be real. These are all put on just to get a reaction from people that see it. This particular thing is real. I am so upset at the black community. I've already given back my black card a long time ago, so I don't give a shit about trying to get it back because y'all really out here making people not like us more on purpose. I don't listen to rap. I did talk briefly about the BET Awards and how they just have no respect for black people. They look at us as just being exactly what people perceive us to be. There's this rapper named Sexy Red and she really just makes the worst music. It's vulgar, it's raunchy. It really puts black women in a bad light and people already don't really favor us. So when you have women like her putting out music and you just listen to the lyrics, it's like, oh, that's why people don't like us. Because <laughs> you have women that listen to that music sing it your five-year-old daughters are asking to listen to pound town and ski ye your daughters your five-year-old daughters are asking and then act brand new when people treat them certain way i'm like come on get it together y'all know exactly why y'all are being treated this way because of this bullshit she decided with her fame and fortune you know the fame that y'all gave her even though she's putting out raunchy ass shit that is degrading to the average black woman that's normal he decided to take her fame and fortune and create a lip gloss kit now don't get me wrong in itself just me saying that it sounds great good for her she's an entrepreneur she's really going to take that money and then put it in and she's going to diversify her money you know putting it in investments starting businesses that's a very smart decision for someone that's in the music industry for anybody that's like a celebrity you really should be diversifying your money like you should really put your money in a lot of different places because at any given time something could happen and you could not have that very cushy job in itself is cool everybody goes down the rabbit hole of clothing line makeup liquor which i think out of all those businesses i think liquor is the most important but anyway she creates this lip gloss kit cool that's awesome so why are we making this video <laughs> oh god i have never hated being associated with black people until I saw this. I'm gonna put the picture on the screen of what the name of these lip glosses are. You can't tell me people are going to respect us more after seeing this. There's no way, there is no way that you're gonna convince me that people are gonna respect us more after seeing this. Cause you wanna know why? Even though I feel, this is me feeling this, <laughs> as with every other video I make, no one's gonna give a shit unless someone's buying it like we can see something that's crazy and be like yeah i'm not purchasing that i'm not a fucking idiot but no there's gonna be some person out there that's gonna see that see the name that's attached to it and be like oh shit that's my bitch i'm definitely buy that kit and then you have a lot of explaining to do because you're gonna put that on and be like yeah yeah i got that new sexy red lip gloss kit <laughs> yeah I'm, yeah i'm wearing yellow discharge yeah, you know I got that gonorrhea on my lips. You know how stupid that's gonna sound when you have to explain what you have on your lips? And it's bad because it's like, you know that even though she could have contributed to that, people are just creating content for her for, the, her, for her to sign away. This is your brand. This is what you've been promoting. So you might as well stick with it. And anything that you create outside of music, and she just okayed it because she's getting her money. And that there has to come a point where we stop praising people and putting people on a pedestal and making them famous for literally destroying a community of people. Despite what I thought about Ray Gun, despite what anybody thought about Ray Gun, the mere fact that she went on, which I always, I in, my, in the back of my mind, even when I was making that video, I felt like it was kind of a stunt of hers because I'm sure she had to have known she wasn't that good of a, uh, a break dancer. Dance the worst. Look, everybody that knows break dancing knows that she did not do anything good, but she is raking in the money. It, it felt like a stunt to begin with. And despite whatever she fucking said in social media, whatever people said, it was a stunt. She knew that she, she was going to look the craziest on a big scale. People were going to talk about her and she was going to get a big fat check. If you think that you have no talent, put yourself on a big scale. Do the shit that you think that you're great at when you know damn well you're not that good at. Have people talk about it. You're going to be raking in some fat checks too. Ray Gun is making way more money now than the average person that actually is good at breakdancing. And so 
we have Sexy Red, who we definitely put on a pedestal. We meaning just black people as a collective. I'm not saying all black people because again, I don't listen to rap. Y'all made her famous. And from that, she created a lip gloss kit that has the worst names for it. Like, despite what anybody may think about any other celebrity that you don't like, celebrity mean like reality television. Like, I'm talking about like the Kardashians. I'm talking about literally anybody that's not like an actual actor or actress. Like, someone that just came on the scene maybe like five, ten years ago. Isn't really that talented, but we put them on a pedestal, so now they are famous. Take any of them, whatever products they created, it still is better than that sexy red shit. And it's really sad because, because of the fact that you know someone's going to buy it and you know someone's going to be wearing it. And they might be embarrassed to say what the name of the lip glosses are. Happy birthday! A lip gloss collection! Thank you! Ooh, what's this dark one? Booty Hole Brown. That's Booty Hole Brown by Sexy Red. Try it on uh, later. Uh, this creamy one is nice. Gonorrhea. It's a lip plumper. Tingly in all the right places. Try it! Please. But I'd be more upset for the people that would be proud to talk about what the names of the lip glosses are. Your lip gloss is so cute. What is that? Thank you, gonorrhea. What? Gonorrhea by Sexy Red. Do you want to try some? No. Oh, well, I've got other shades. Yellow Discharge, Coochie Juice, Booty Hole Brown, Pussy Hole Pink. There has to come a point in our society where black people wake up you know whether it's politically whether it's socially whether it's just well, i don't know we just have to wake up and not be those people that just follow a crowd or just follow the masses because a certain person is a certain color or a certain race we have to really start thinking independently we really have to stop and think about the fact that i see where this community is going i see how people view us i see what people think that we're just going to jump to like the dog wave a little bacon in front of it and then you throw it and then they chase it we're not those types of people so i don't know why we keep on falling for the same bullshit and then act shocked when things result in the way they result in we follow a person because of their color and their race but yet we get upset when people try to collectively make it seem like we're all this type of way y'all put yourselves out there to be that type of people if you are being swayed a certain way they think oh they're not going to believe us if we do this we're just going to throw some fried chicken and some kool-aid and a throw throw a party oh we got them now just saying that's what happens when you as a black community decide that you guys don't want to think independently and like, we really got to stop doing this I talked about this in my previous video about the bet awards people see women that are like rapping today like the sexy reds the i am literally i don't even know all the other names of these people they see them and they think that all black women are like that and that's like the worst place to be in when you know that you are a certain way living your life a certain way but then you see these types of women just from first impressions because everybody has the right to have a first impression and judge what they see they think that you are going to be like that because the majority of the people that they see that look similar to that do that no no on top of all that i'm not buying those fucking lip lip gloss kits well you want to know why because i have this level of pride i have this standard that it has been instilled in me since I was a child to not put myself out there in the world to make myself look stupid. And also I've been an independent thinker for a long ass time. So even if people were like, why would you not support? She's a black female. I'm like, cause not all skin folk are kin folk. Like I have family members right now that I'm related to that I don't even consider family because there has to come a point where you don't just allow people just to do whatever and say whatever and do stuff like that just because they're a family. You just have to excuse it. Like, nah, bitch, I have more friends that I've encountered in the past three to five years that I consider more family than most of my family members that I have. And it scares people sometimes when they realize that as a black person, you think independently and you don't just jump on the bandwagon because someone is black or a female or from the from the from the hood. Like we're not we're not playing those games today. Like we trying to we trying to be on a whole new level and no one has time for the bullshit. For all those out there that watch my channel and you want anything, like take anything from this video. 
Please don't support motherfuckers that make us look bad in society. Sexy Red is not a benefit to us. She is literally out here making people hate black women more. Now, only thing they think about are women that just pride themselves in talking about their vaginal areas, how much sex they're getting, how much sexually transmitted diseases that they're getting, and why would we want that person to be the one speaking for the masses? I'm just saying, we have to stop putting people like that in high levels of fame because it's only going to make things worse for us. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you're always notified about the new videos that I have coming out. I literally heard about this on a YouTube channel, and I was like, there ain't no fucking way this is real. But you know what? It is. So let me know in the comments below. Did you all know? Did y'all know that this was a thing that was happening? Like, did y'all know that this was a, a sexy red thing? Would you go out and buy it? Would you go out and buy it maybe to like do a review on it? Like, let me know what you think. Do you think that we idolize people that make our community look bad? Let me know in the comments below. So I'd be very intrigued to read what you guys think. I love you all. I love the fact that y'all are coming back. And just to, just to make sure that people understand, I am a commentary channel. I talk about films and I talk about social media. A lot of things have been going on in social media that I really wish weren't true, but I need to be out there saying what I need to say because some people are either hiding behind their camera and saying what they need to say, but not showing their face. I'm just at that point where I don't care. People need to understand that there are actually real women out here that are seeing what's going on and are not just okay with it just because it's women doing it. Silent majority needs to not be silent anymore because there are things that are happening. Really need people to actually stand up and take a, take a side. Take a stand, take a side. We have to come correct. Like, there's a lot more people out here that have common sense and we're not going to be quiet anymore. We can't. We can't afford to be. But again, I do appreciate you guys for coming back. If you guys want to see what I do outside of here, which is like a podcast, because I definitely have a podcast where I talk about life and my travels while as I'm navigating the U.S. by myself. The link will be in the description bar below, so do check that out. I love you all, and I hope to see you all in the next episode.